you're lifting your head in the golf swing I'm going to show you a great way how you can stop lifting your head and hit the ball much better. I'll see you soon. Hey, this is Troy from Hitting It Solid. So you're lifting your head in the golf swing. I'm gonna walk you through some principles to help you fix uh, the movement of your head and help clear up a few things you may be a little bit unsure of with the head movement in the golf swing. So if someone's um, probably said to you at some stage, I know it's been said to me a long time ago, you see you're lifting your head. So what does that actually mean? Well, I actually think for the most part, it's, it's not actually really happening. For me, it's more important that you're, you're coming out of posture is probably more what's happening. So what I mean by that is if I'm set up to a golf ball, if someone says to me, oh, you're lifting your head if you top one, what they're saying is, as you come down, they're saying you're lifting your head like that or, or taking your eyes off the ball. And really what's happening is, is that you're coming out of your posture is the reason why you probably top the ball where it's gone nowhere. It's not so much as lifting your head. The head's moving as a result of coming out of posture. So what I mean by that is, if I'm standing over a ball like this, if I go to the top of the swing, if I come down, I'm, and I come out of early extension, I lift up like that, I get further from the ball, my head pulls away and it's further from the ball and I'm going to have to flip at it or something like that to hit the golf ball solid. So ideally what you want to be doing instead of focusing on the head is focusing on staying in posture, which would mean we get to the top like this, we come down and we're staying in posture, that way we can hit the golf ball solid from that. And if you look at, if you look at most of the best players in the world, if someone says to you, you're moving your head too much or your head's not staying down, it's important to understand that the head has to actually move a little bit during the golf swing. And I'm not saying it should move a lot, but it has to move a little bit. You never see any of the best players in the world over a golf ball like this. You never see them keeping their head perfectly still from start to finish or else they'd look something like, you know, they'd look something something like that. It's very hard to keep it still when you've got to turn, rotate and go through towards the golf ball. There'll always be a tiny little movement either up or down or just laterally back and forth. Tiger has that famous sort of squat move where he gets to the top, he sees his head lower as he comes down. A lot of great players do that. Now I know with a couple of players I've even seen, uh, Annika Sorensen, David Duval, they're famous for on the downswing, they actually take their eyes off the ball. Now, I'm not suggesting you do the same thing, but just to help you understand what's actually happening. As they come down, you see their head, it actually ends up aim hit. Their eyes are almost focused out this area, about a foot or so in front of the ball. And you see them, they're like this. They're beautifully down in posture. They maintain their posture, but their, their eyes actually focused over here somewhere so they've still kept their head down but their eyes have actually shifted so if you get a chance make sure you check out them in slow motion and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about with their head position so so I'm not suggesting you take your eyes off the ball at all but just important to understand that you can't keep your head perfectly still from start to finish so I'm going to take you through a few key concepts to help you understand this better and how you can fix it and keep it a lot more level on the golf swing. And just stick around to the end, I'll show you a couple of great drills that can help fix the issue. So, important thing to, to help fix this issue so is your chest. So if I'm standing up to the ball, and our head's obviously a certain distance from the ball, our chest is pointing down towards the ball. As I go to the top, you'll see that chest will point behind me. Now it's very important in that downswing as I come down, that that chest is pointing back down towards the golf ball. That way I've maintained all my angles at set up and I'm much better chance of hitting the golf ball solid. So that's one important thing you can really think about, getting that chest pointing back down towards the golf ball at impact. Back, back down towards the golf ball at impact. Now the second thing I like to do is about is my butt and the back swing. So what I like to do as I get to the top, on the downswing, a lot of golfers I spoke about earlier, the early extend, they lift up. 
So what I'd like to try and do is as I come down, just really feel like I'm pushing that butt back out, like so. That helps me stay in posture, helps get my head the same distance it was from the ball at setup in the downswing. And it'll keep that head a lot steadier and help you hit a lot more solid golf shots. And that's, that's just sticking that butt out on that downswing and keeping that posture that same distance from the ball I had it set up and you'll be a lot more consistent. So those are two really important ways you can look at fixing the issue. Now, I've got a couple of drills that you can work on that really help you with maintaining a steady head and getting it in the right position. So first thing is I'm gonna grab a club Put it across your chest. Now as you set up to the ball, what I'm trying to do is, as I make my back swing, I'm trying to get that club head to point down towards the golf ball, like so. Now in the downswing, this is the key, I want that grip of the club to return to that same position and be pointing down towards the golf ball. If I do that, I've stayed in posture, my head is maintained a very consistent distance from the golf ball, which means I'm gonna bottom out and hit the golf ball a lot more solid. What we don't wanna see happen, as we go back to the top, if I early extend and lift up, look what happens to the grip, points somewhere way out behind me. I've got a scoop and flip at the ball, a whole heap of problems happen from there. So just make sure you can practice this drill at home. Club head to the ball, grip to the ball, Head's nice and steady, great position to hit the ball. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is with side bend. I made another video on this, but side bend really helps with keeping a much steadier head position. And what I mean by that is, if I'm over the golf ball, you'll see my upper body is tilted over. That's called side bend. And it's important to understand as I get to the top, as you come down, you maintain that side bend and you come through to hit the golf ball. I'm not doing this lifting up, standing up tall. I'm maintaining side bend, which means my head is maintaining that same distance from the golf ball. And that's the key. As I come down, head's maintaining that distance to the golf ball. I've got a much better chance of hitting the golf ball solid. That's just an important concept to remember. And it all ties into that chest area with your head. If you can keep that chest pointing down towards the golf ball, it turns away from the golf ball, get that chest to return to that same point where it's set up. You don't want to be going, having it pointing out there. We want it pointing down towards the golf ball where it started at set up. And that'll fix a lot of that excess head movement that you might have and you'll hit the golf ball a lot more consistent. So give that a shot. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you have a look down below, there'll be a couple of links there to some further golf instruction. I encourage you to check that out. That will really help out your golf game. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll see you next time.